Well, that's fairly unusual. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. You're wondering, can a buzz quote save me money? Well, the answer is, meh. It's likely to save you a load of money. And that's why I started buzzquote.me. In January 2014, deep in the Colombian rainforest, paramilitary forces stormed the luxury compound of the notorious and reclusive drug lord Pablo Ramirez, the world's leading distributor of high-quality cocaine. Pablo was an eccentric collector, not only of art, luxury automobiles, and fine wines, but also of animals, especially reptiles. Reviewing the remains of Pablo's ledgers, the investigators found that the drug lord had been routinely trading with corrupt Taiwanese medical researchers. He sent them cocaine, they sent him highly concentrated growth hormone. But it was in the cavernous five-story basement dug under Pablo's house that investigators found something incredible. A captive snake, 976 feet in length. That is nearly the size of the Eiffel Tower. And hold on, hold on. This doesn't make any sense at all. First of all, I checked a website called Wikipedia, and it said the longest snake is about 25 feet long. In fact, the Wildlife Conservation Society has offered a $50,000 reward for any snake found to be longer than 30 feet. So I just don't believe this. But I should say that I have tried Pablo Ramirez's cocaine, and it f***ing rocks. <laughs> Sorry. In any case, instead of more nonsense, I'd rather tell you something that's incredible, but this time actually totally 100% real. Right now, while you're sitting here on YouTube wasting time, you're also being cheated. You're being ripped off and rich dudes are stealing your money for no reason. Now, if that's okay with you, please stop this video and go back to wasting time. But if you're not okay with that, then you need to go right now to buzzquote.me or click this button. Here's some background. If you spend some time looking around my YouTube channel, I think you'll agree that what I've done here is totally unprofessional. The quality of my videos is quite bad, and it's generally clear that I've devoted not more than three hours to throwing this thing together. I mean, right now, I'm featuring a video on my channel entitled, Am I Gay? And another called, Why My Videos Suck. Now, Obviously, this is an amateur operation run by some dude out of his house. But still, this is what happened when I put buzzquote.me on YouTube. I got millions of views. I got tens of thousands of comments. People were interested. People made fun of my lisp. But the story that I told just made sense. And it's a story I'm going to tell you right now. But first, I want to remind you that this is a video about how you should stop wasting time with things like this and instead go to buzzquote.me to save a big pile of money. Okay, here goes. So I was checking my online statements recently and I was noticing that I got charged every month in my account for something called insurance, which I never used. I mean, sure I had bills to pay, but they were all for stuff that I used, like my house or my phone or my internet. But this insurance thing, I didn't actually use it. So, so why was I paying for it? And after I did some research, I realized that what was happening was that all this insurance money was going to rich guys who were spending it on their fancy homes, fancy boats, and other rich guy stuff that they used to show off to their friends. So I got pissed, and I made this website called buzzquote.me. Now, first of all, I need to tell you that getting a buzz quote is free, and that you can get a buzz quote yourself to save a pile of money by going right now to buzzquote.me or clicking here. Okay, more detail. Every year, the auto insurance industry spends about $5.9 billion on advertising. Advertising that they force you to watch on TV, on billboards, in magazines, everywhere. As you know, this advertising, which usually features hilarious stuff like lizards, cavemen, good-looking people, white rooms, etc., is totally and utterly meaningless. It's meaningless because in the real world, all auto insurance is actually the same. It doesn't matter what company you get it from. It's just a question of finding the lowest rate. But the reason these companies spend so much on advertising is that there are millions of idiots in this country who actually believe that there is a difference between different brands of auto insurance. These people have not yet figured out that they are being lied to, that all auto insurance is the same. 
you pay a monthly premium, you get in an accident, you call your insurance company, you hope you get some cash for repairs, and you hope your insurance rate doesn't go up too much. Look, the goal of the insurance companies is to maximize revenues while minimizing expenses, not rocket science. Let me say it again. It does not matter which company you get insurance from. They are all the same. Now, everyone knows that you need to get a set of new insurance quotes at least once every six months. So, how are you going to do that? Well, the big insurance companies are spending billions of dollars every year to brainwash you, to make you think that you should go directly to their websites and call their 800 numbers. But step back from this for a second. How could it possibly be the case that you will get the best deal by only approaching one company? That's insane. Of course, you can only get the best deal by asking as many companies as possible. And here's the other thing. When you go direct to a big insurance carrier, what you're doing is financially rewarding these companies for their huge advertising spend. You are paying them to brainwash you. You are paying them extra to reward them for advertising to you. Crazy, right? And this is what brings me to BuzzQuote. To get your BuzzQuote and save a pile of money, you just need to go to buzzquote.me or click this button right here. And here is why BuzzQuote is different. As I pointed out, if you spend a bit of time watching the videos on this channel, you will realize that our YouTube channel is of poor quality. Our videos are unprofessional. Most of them don't even have any visuals. They're just somebody ranting into a microphone. I've made these videos using EasyVid, which is a free video editor that I got at easyvid.com. You can be sure that this channel was put together on some average computer, in some average house, in an average town in America by some average dude with no talent and no budget. And that's why BuzzQuote is cool. You can either go direct to the big companies, give them a return on their marketing investment, or you can get a bunch of low quotes at buzzquote.me instead. I certainly know what I would do given this choice. Okay, so let's look at this in a bit more detail. Here is a very simple three-part test to see if you need a new BuzzQuote. Number one, did you get your insurance directly from a well-known company? This is pretty straightforward. If you call one company, they're just gonna give you whatever rate they want to. No competition, pretty obvious. Number two, has it been six months or more since your last auto insurance quote? If it has, you're missing out. Auto insurance rates change every month. It's quite possible that yours should have gone down. But the way that the big insurance companies make money is that they tend to forget to inform you of a rate decrease to keep you at the older, higher rate for as long as they can get away with it. It's sketchy, but that's the way the business works. Number three, has it been six months or more since you've had a serious accident? If it has, you should be rewarded with a lower premium. It's that simple. If you answer yes to any of these questions, that means you need to go right now to buzzquote.me or click this button to save a big pile of money on your insurance. Okay, so let's back up again and look at a bird's eye view of the situation. You see, the reason you overpay currently is that your insurance rates are controlled in your state capital. You're required by law to carry insurance, but your state only allows a few well-connected big insurance companies to give you quotes. Every year, lobbyists for these big insurance companies put on lots of expensive parties. And every year, the same big insurance companies write big checks to your state politician. With this money, your politicians put ads on TV so they get re-elected, and in return, the politicians allow the insurance companies to raise their rates every year. The politicians stay in office, the insurance companies stay rich, and you keep overpaying. So, here's your solution, buzzquote.me. With buzzquote.me, you break the cycle. You submit your info directly to any company that comes to the table, and all at once, the insurance carriers have to compete for your business. Here's some more detail. Maybe you've seen an ad on TV for a famous insurance company. We can't mention their names here for legal reasons, but it's important that you know that if you go for a direct quote from a nationally advertised insurance brand, in the end, you will lose. Without competition, insurance companies have the power to charge you whatever they want. To fix this, you need to go right now to buzzquote.me to get a real competitive quote. So, do you know how insurance companies set your rates? They use data like your zip code, credit score, and your years of driving experience to try to price your risk as a driver. This often ends up being totally unfair because even if you are a safe driver, you're often forced to pay really high rates because of factors out of your control. And here's what's incredible. The insurance companies could fix this if they wanted to by simply allowing drivers to use a smartphone app which would record speeding and other erratic driving behavior, report this data back, and use it to give high rates to the bad drivers and low rates to the good drivers like you. 
this would be a fair and equitable way to price car insurance. The insurance companies could do this, but they don't. Why not? Because then they would have to lower rates for the good drivers. Bad for business. And as we've seen, although the insurance companies are regulated by state governments, nobody in state government is interested in this either. They're mostly interested in those big campaign contributions rolling in from the insurance companies. The conspiracy is real. Don't be fooled by fancy advertisements and branding. Get a real competitive quote. Go to buzzquote.me right now or click this button here to get started.